okay so hello everyone uh, welcoming you to short of sales classes so today we are looking at the iift 2019 mc economics question paper question number 24 let n1 increase to n2 then the rate of growth of output and per capita output will be so this is basically a question with respect to solo model that we have over here now what you can understand is that like um, so what is the per capita output it is defined as small y equals to capital y by l and your per capita capital stock is small k equals to capital k by l right and your small y is basically f of small k where f prime is positive f double prime is negative fine so now at steady state at steady state equilibrium what happens k dot is equals to 0 Now, if you look at the expression for small y, what is y dot? It will be f prime of k into k dot, which is zero. That means, simply putting at steady state equilibrium, k dot is zero and y dot is zero. That means, no matter what the parameters of the solo model are, n, s, etc., small y dot continues to be zero. Okay. that means your per capita output growth remains the same now if you just look at it so what is small y it is capital y by l so if you take log and do time derivative so small y dot by y equals to capital y dot by y minus l dot by l so at steady state y small y dot is zero so what do you have capital y dot by y dot equals to l dot by l dot right so initially when l dot by l equals to n1 then what is the growth of the aggregate output it is n1 and finally when l dot by l becomes n2 then capital y dot by y becomes n2 so as it is given n2 is greater than n1 then the new growth in the final output is higher that means it grows at a higher rate so if you look at the options it is basically option number c output grows at a faster rate but output per capita grows at the same rate because small y dot is zero so that is option number c so 